Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. I know you guys have been checking that computer every 10 minutes to see if I got these motors fired up yet. <laughs> but now I'm getting close. I had to clean off the table and do a little cleaning and I don't even want to suck nothing into them motors because I'm just going to turn it around. I'm not going to run these full throttle or nothing. I just want to get them fired up and shut it off. Okay, and I'm going to have to do them one at a time because uh, I only have one battery. So, I figured I'd make y'all a little movie, but I got my pipes mounted in there. i tell you what, I really like the way these things mount. It's just a, really just a, a well-engineered airplane. It really is, you know. And... Uh, I don't think they're nothing to be scared of myself. A lot of people's all worried this and worried about that. And man, these things have been flying for three years. <laughs> they fly great. You know, uh, uh, Fly Eagle said I didn't need to do that. You know, and Fly Eagle will certify stress test wings. You, I can take these wings and send them into. Uh, Fly Eagle and they will certify them and, and uh, stress test them and for extra money they will go in there and re they're, they're rated for so many G's okay if you want to up that they'll do it and if you want some uh, wings that you can park your truck on <laughs> they'll do it <laughs> and uh, you, know, but you know that's extra money of course but uh, you guys don't be afraid of these jets, man. These things fly awesome for what I've seen and what I've heard. and We're just going to have some fun. Okay, enough of the drama. Okay, but what I want to do is I really don't want to put fuel in my tanks yet. Because, I, you know, they're ready to go in. I actually got two of them in there. And uh, you see yeah, how they're carved out a little bit for the motor right there. But uh, they're good to go. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to run them off this. I'm just going to do one at a time. So I'm going to hook my fuel line up right there. No air trap or nothing. And just uh, get a quick start up. And uh, all are good. But, uh, man, everything's just really nice. You know, I, I did a couple things. You know, uh, anytime you get a jet like this, I mean anything, you need to take every screw out of it and lock tight it every screw because that one you don't do when you open your trailer door that baby's going to be laying on the floor <laughs> or rattling in the fuselage you know that is just a, you know a no brainer it's just something you got to do okay I'm just going to tuck all these there, everything except what we need. Alright, we need these battery cables to keep them separate. Okay, there's better cables for this side. I don't want nothing sucked into them ducts, man. Okay. We gotta be a little careful, but okay, we don't need nothing else from in there. Okay, just down. Fuel line and my propane lines. What's that remind you of, Bill? <laughs> Go stuff that stuff in there. Take some duct tape, baby. <laughs> you know, take some tape and you just tape it in there. Well, where's my box of fist stuff? 
That's a check valve, by the way. Okay, now. That go right there. Never do this without that bad boy right there. Must. Absolute must. Okay. Now, just pump some fuel in my jug. Fuel in it. Now I'm going to put another fitting on the top of this jug and uh, I'm going to put my vents on both on one side so I can just take one overflow tank and it'll work both engines. Which I think, whoa, this is fixing to come shooting out of there. I guess I should have. Don't have a fan. They should have went in the other one, huh? <laughs> ah, that's enough. That's enough. That one's smart. So we have our moments. Okay. Table through the end of the door. Shut off my air. Don't want to do this before it gets too hot. Can't run the AC and open the door. Mom would be mad. <laughs> Okay. What else I need? Need my propane. This I love this stuff. I set up all my jets to run on it. Joe said this was good to go on it. And what you usually got to do, since that Power Max is fixing to go away, guys. Okay. All you got to do is open your propane valve on your ECU. Now a hundred on most of them ECUs is a hundred percent closed. So you just take it to zero, and uh, bam, you're converted to Coleman. I'll get this part at Walmart, okay, in the camping supplies, because uh, it's uh, regulated. You put a cap on it, and then you tap it and put a pressure fitting from the hobby store. Bam, your stuff's converted to Coleman. You can buy this stuff anywhere, gas stations, uh, dollar store, anywhere, man, Walmart. But, uh... I'll be back once I get this thing ready to go and we'll get it fired up. Then we're going to get the nose on it today. So we'll see you back in the shop.